Welcome to our series, Rhombus Space Presents. This is our first artist studio visit via Zoom, and it is with Damien Olson. A, Where do you live, in Williamsburg? Yeah, um, by yeah. the near uh, McCarran Park. There was like a bunker kind of garage, like huge. So I don't know what kind of neighbors I'm gonna have. This is a three-story house, and the, right now we are in the middle floor uh, where my studio is. This is a perspective of, of the space. I used to have a big space in Brazil, and then I had a loft in, in Jersey City, uh, 2000, 2002, and then I moved to Bushwick when Bushwick was in Bushwick, and it was okay, it wasn't big. I used to live there too. So and, and then uh, I, I met Donna and uh, we we moved here. Yeah, I saw the process of Williams were being destroyed by the real estate fever yeah. Yeah. Of, of pictures that I took of demolition, constructions, mm -hmm. those textures. That, that mostly my inspiration for for mm -hmm. artwork, excavations mostly. Yeah. Like something geological, um, uh, even um, kind of a. I mean, there's a metaphor of, about exploring the the uh, uh, the depths of Earth and exploring the uh, human unconscious or mind. That that's the one that I'm closer to. So, um. So I want to, before we start talking more in your studio, I just want to look quickly at the pieces in the show. And um, well, all through that is right next to me. You can see um, he's, he's about. Four fifty-one say, inches, 50, yes, I think it's 51. It's about, it's about four feet uh, tall. Let me see if we can. Yeah. He has a base. Um, the base now is part of a. He has the same treatment, so I can. Yeah. It's really interesting. Uh, it's a pretty complex piece. I I didn't know how we're gonna wind up when I started it. I had an idea based on this one in the middle. Oh yeah. Called, uh, pay telephone, a public telephone. Yeah. That uh, if you ask me what it is, uh. uh I don't really know, and I like that. Mm -hmm. That we That's have us. no idea what the 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 use of for all that, like all machinery, all technology, just the static value of of those objects. That's what interests me. Man, I start talking what the word means for me. I I have an issue. Uh, I don't care really about meanings. I don't think that art is about meanings. I think it's about. Uh, I think that we make art like birds sing. That's what we do, yeah. it's natural, right? Some people make art, some people make other things. I don't know, that's what we do. It's so natural. <laughs> I was looking at your website, like all the different parts of it, you know, the digital art and the photography um, and the sculpture. And I can feel you're a very creative person, you know, and I think that the music and the dance, it all kind of, it's like you experience life constantly in the role, in the experience of like as an artist, you know, it's not like you, you shut it off or stop. You're constantly looking around and responding. Everything is permanently uh, interacting, all those disciplines. My newest discipline is really uh, sculpture. I started late. I started in the 90s mm -hmm. with sculpture. Uh, um, I originally started uh, with music and painting. And then I went to dance school and I worked as a dancer for a while, uh, as a performer. Uh, photography also is very old. I started taking pictures when I was a kid and then I worked as a photographer assistant for publicity mm -hmm. for a while in the in the uh, in the 80s. 
So uh, I was in both sides of the camera and, and it's still there. I mean, uh, photography is mm -hmm. part of my life. One, once you, you have right. that consciousness of yeah. movement, uh, it's, it's very difficult to dissociate uh, your body from, from the, uh, the environment. So it's like a permanent uh, um, awareness of, 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 of cinetic and, and then sometimes right. the expression is also conscious, but mostly I, li I like the idea of unconscious expression, like, like totally giving up stuff and once in a while you realize what you're doing. I yeah. think, I think it's much more fun that way. Yeah, I noticed, I was looking at your um, photos with people in it and they all had very interesting like gestures or movements. <laughs> in right. of that. Yeah. People are funny things, right? Uh, uh, and, and, and you, you tick off the, the personal uh, the ego or whatever is there and you just see movement, energy uh, flowing, right. little uh, uh, mem memories of, oh yes, this is a person, but it's more <laughs> character than a person, this is something I think is fantastic. So let me show you, this is a painting that I'm working right now, how oh, to... Yeah, I see it. Mm -hmm. It's like that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I noticed your pa paintings. You're very interested in texture. As, Is as... it too close? Uh, can you, can you, you can, see the whole? Yeah, you can zoom back a little bit. It, that was a good shot for the texture. Uh huh. But yeah, no, I noticed. I and I was reading how you were saying you like to let the paint kind of make the mark, and you know that that it interacts with the surface. Um, this one has some sort of a blue and golden coloration, like like space junk. Like <laughs> yeah, they feel like relics. Yeah, objects floating in space. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is all black. This one looks like a Louis Nevelson floating. Yes. <laughs> and where do you find all your materials? All over the place. Uh, people get rid of. Uh, wood like crazy there's a big waste of wood in this town a few lumber yards in this neighborhood so i i go hunting for wood uh, almost every week it's fun it's just <laughs> going out you never know what you're gonna find uh how do you join it are you using just wood glue and pressure are you hammering or all kinds sometimes of I, I use any sort of uh, glues i try different glues sometimes i mix them now, now I'm working on, on this series of, of rocks. This is about um, five feet tall. Mm -hmm. Months working wow. on this one. There's a lot of story around. He, Babylon Sabrisky. It's interesting that you search for, you know, um, artifacts to make your artifacts. You know? Right. Uh, I found this drone. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of dark here. Oh, yeah, it's visible. Um, it reproduces the situation where I found it in the mud. This is like a... I don't know if you can see it. Sure. Yeah. It's actually like this. Well, Put it on the floor because of the demolition. complex... Uh, Very, yeah. ...machinery. I, I don't know. I don't really know what it is, and, and uh, I like it that way. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it's fine. I think it doesn't have to translate what you were saying about music. You know, it doesn't have to translate to meaning. Something very important in in, in artists, for me, is humor. Uh, yes. That's what I find in surrealism. Yes. And it was so funny. That, I mean, fantastically funny sometimes. It was insanely uh, put it together just by uh, association mm -hmm. or dissociation. Absolutely. So that's what I do. I, I consider myself a, a surrealist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that that's uh, <laughs> that makes sense to me. Yeah, and I think that the work is really explores, you know, the, what you were saying, like issues related to the subconscious because it 
their triggers. Like it's not, it's not, um, not, you know, there's elements that we can relate to and respond to that make us think of something else. Like there are, um, representations that seem like they could be, you know, from a parallel reality or future right. world, the history of a future world. 